Roaring into the lead, unraveling English idioms. Hello, everyone. Today, we're diving into the vibrant world of English idioms, focusing on the phrase, roar into the lead. Idioms are the spices of the language, adding flavor and depth to our conversations. Understanding them not only enriches your vocabulary, but also brings you closer to the heart of English culture. So, let's get started and explore what it means to roar into the lead and how you can use this expression in your daily conversations. Roar into the lead combines two powerful words, roar and lead. To roar is to make a loud, deep sound, just like a lion does. It symbolizes strength, power, and speed. On the other hand, the lead refers to being in the first position in a competition or race. When we put these words together, the phrase paints a picture of someone or something gaining a leading position quickly and decisively, often with a lot of momentum and energy. This idiom is often used in sports and competitive contexts but can be applied to any scenario where someone moves ahead of others rapidly. For example, in a business setting, a company that quickly overtakes its competitors in sales might be said to roar into the lead. It implies not just progressing to the front but doing so with noticeable impact and dominance. To help you better understand how to use roar into the lead, let's look at some examples. After releasing their innovative product, the startup roared into the lead, dominating the market. Despite a slow start, the marathon runner roared into the lead, leaving everyone else behind. The underdog team roared into the lead in the final minutes of the game, securing a surprising victory. These sentences show the versatility of the phrase and how it can be applied in various contexts to describe a swift and powerful rise to the top. And that wraps up our exploration of the idiom, roar into the lead. Remember, idioms like this one add color and expressiveness to your English, allowing you to convey complex ideas in a vivid and impactful way. We hope this video helps you feel more confident in using and understanding English idioms. Keep practicing, and don't hesitate to roar into your English learning journey with enthusiasm and curiosity. See you in the next video.